गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हेमंत शर्मा टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट वल्वो वेजिनाइटिस सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्टली आई एम वेरी हैप्पी बिटवीन अस डॉक्टर लाल सिंह फ्रॉम मुंबई डॉक्टर एम एल ए फ्रॉम साउथ अफ्रीका एंड डॉक्टर संध्या फ्रॉम लंदन फॉर दियर प्रीशियस टाइम दे आर सेटिंग हेयर एंड दे आर टेकिंग अ पार्ट इन माई वीडियो ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट आर टॉपिक इज वल्वो वेजिनाइटिस Uh, Dr. Lal Singh, I really want to ask the normal vaginal pH is how much you think? Dr. Lal Singh, normal vaginal pH. Four point. Okay, no problem. It's three point eight to four point two. Yes, and the vaginal normal flora is lactobacilli, which I represent here. It's normal flora. Okay. then uh, vulvo vaginitis uh, mainly three types bacterial vaginosis trichomonal vaginitis and candidal vaginitis vaginosis and here trichomonal vaginitis itis itis here itis itis means infection infection and infection causes itching so in bacterial vaginitis no pruritis but in trichomonal vaginitis pruritis and candidal vaginitis it's pruritis so my dear friends i want to explain as you know in respiratory tract there are two kinds of infection mainly upper respiratory like nose throat and lower respiratory like lung here in gynecology also same there is one topic which is pid that is upper tract infection upper genital infection and this one vulvo vaginitis is lower genital infection so in vulvo vaginitis we are going to study today and my coming video we are going to study about pid ascending infection in bacterial vaginosis etiological agent is gardenella vaginalis in trichomonal vaginitis the most common causative agent is trichomoniasis candidal vaginitis is candida albicans so dr hamale my question is with you in bacterial vaginosis how much ph of vagina more than 4.5 yes my dear friend you are right i am happy <coughs> clapping for him he answered a very good okay thanks then in trichomoniasis also more than 4.5 ph but in candidal vaginitis is less than 4.5 less than 4.5 uh so my next question with dr sandhya gaini uh do you know the ph uh, no the bacterial vaginosis uh, what kind of cells we see two cells yes you are right two cells good good answer good answer i am happy happy Uh, in slime we see clue cells and epithelial cell this is looking like this these are the clue cells in bacterial vaginosis we find in microscopy such in trichomonal vaginitis there is a motile flagellated erythema cervix it, this is motile flagellated here we see strawberry vagina also which i have untrue but remember strawberry vagina strawberry vagina and strawberry cervix seen in trichomonal vaginitis and in candidal vaginitis we see hyphae it's hyphae looking like this on microscope so most common symptoms most common symptoms they really like to ask like this charge in vulvo vaginitis bacterial vaginosis there is a grey watery discharge in trichomonal vaginitis there is yellow green frothy discharge but in candidal vaginitis there is a cheese like white discharge and test we are going for bacterial vaginosis the test is with test foul smell trichomonal vaginitis is foul smell okay now let's go for treatment so my next question goes again to dr mla 
uh, how to treat bacterial vaginosis the drug of choice is metronidazole yes he is right <coughs> you are right really really you are right metronidazole and trichomonal vaginitis also we are going to treat with metronidazole my next question goes to dr sandhya how to treat candidal vaginitis how yes she is right she is right fluconazole 150 mg oral dose by mouth yes she is right so today in my class i am happy so many brilliant doctors are taking a participant in my class i want to explain there is a no question paper there is a not a single question paper in where they haven't asked from this they always asking question from this topic and this graph will help you a lot so many questions repeatedly asking from this chart so my dear friends if you want to revise one hour before exam you have to revise this chart and you definitely got one question and you are going to correct one answer it's a very high yield topic for examination point of view from gynecology in whole examination so my dear friends vulvo vaginitis it occurs the risk factor so dr emily you want to explain some risk factor for vulvo vaginitis okay then dr sandhya pregnancy yes she is right pregnancy why pregnancy because it's a immunocompromised state and any other cause IUD. yes she is right iud is intrauterine devices and type 2 diabetes mellitus oc these steroids because they all are immunosuppressant so my dear friends that's all i hope you all like my video and if you really like please subscribe my video put like on it comment on it and if you have any question any query please put comments i will answer i am very going to be glad if you are asking question with me and this video my video will help you so i am very thankful to all doctors like dr lal singh dr sandhya dr amle they are taking a part in my video and myself dr himan sharma and thank you again have a good day goodbye my dear friends and thank you that's all okay